It's uh, Chris over at Dixon Farm, and um, our travel series, I um, don't know if you know this, probably you don't, that uh, I wrote the music for what was in the series, and um, I did that for one of our other travel series. Half the songs were mine, half the songs were public domain, or Creative Commons or whatever, but, uh, you know, I, I've been recording music since I was a teenager. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but I do enjoy the process and I can noodle around enough to make something happen. So, I, instead of trying to find the right music, it was just more fun to just make the music myself. And uh, so I'm working on the last song um, for the video series, and this is on episode two, uh, when we go to a water park. I've already got the song, but it's just, it's not quite hitting me quite right yet, so, uh, I figure I would just document the process. I've got an idea of what I can do to make it better. And I normally, you know, when it's 20 seconds, it's easy to rattle off a song, but this is a little bit longer. I think it's two minutes. And so the theme just kind of keeps repeating over and over and over again. Um, so, meh. So, here it is. Here's the editing. You can see all this part here in the timeline all needs music so I'm gonna be showing you me recording the music so I'm gonna be playing this uh, song on my acoustic guitar this is uh, an open E uh, tuning so it's all tuned to an E chord I like playing um, you can fake a lot of nice pretty sounding stuff with an open E tuning um, video is supposed to have kind of a Polynesian-esque feel, but I don't want to use a ukulele. Uh, it seems like everyone uses a ukulele as background music on YouTube, um, you know, for whimsy. That McLaughlin spiel or a toy piano. So uh, I'll be doing the guitar, um, and I'll be recording it in GarageBand on the iPad. And then from there we can start layering up other song uh, sounds, and then uh, I think I know, I'm not much of a lead guitarist, but I think I know what I can do to uh, break up this second half of the song where it just kind of repeats over and over again. Okay, so it's going to be kind of hard to see. You got glare there, but um, here I am set up to record the guitar. Got the microphones uh, facing towards me, and I'm just doing a nice, uh, nice room, so it's got some reverb to it. You'll probably hear the dogs in the background of the song, but that'll be kind of fun. One, two, three, four. see how that adds to the track. Alright, so the next thing I'm doing, um, got a drink here, is I've already kind of done a rough edit, so I'm actually going to play them back at the same time and see does everything line up and should we keep going or try again? Try to add a tambourine to it now and see what that does. You won't be able to hear this because I've got the headphones on, but uh, I'm using an ebow and a guitar, and I think I've worked out an interesting part. <laughs> 
or interesting enough. So I'm going to give it a couple of tries. So I added just a subtle bit of keys there, and uh, kind of have to listen to it now with the uh, the whole thing now. All right, so here I am. Uh, I just did a couple of quick edits into the song. Uh, there's this one section where Marissa talks, so I just added that in. Here it is on the iPad, so like each section of the song, you know, I added something extra, so, um, you know, just the regular guitar part here. So I added the e bow, and then at a different section, I added the pad, and then later on, I added a... Uh, just a single violin to kind of beef up what's going on with the Ebo. And of course there's just the shaker. That's the tambourine. And then the shaker. And all together. Well, everybody, that's how I put together the music for the uh, for the vacation video. So, you know, I tried to match what was expected. So with the sped up part, you know, I put in something that's, you know, all synth and, um, you know, Philip Glass-esque to kind of, you know, the viewer has probably Koyanastasi, you know, they have expectations. Same thing when we go into the 50s, uh, 60s style resort added something that sounded similar to Link Ray uh, Rumble, but not quite, you know, cause, again, that's matches what the music uh, and what the video was showing. So this uh, part, you know, I tried to match uh, something that would, would fit with the video. So that's it from Dixieland Farm. Thank you so much for watching.